Good morning, gentlemen and ladies. RSX Squishy here. And for today's video, I'm going to be talking about Season 3 Reloaded and just how much of a crappy update this was. If you guys like the video, like the honest content, like, comment, subscribe. I always give facts and my honest, non-biased opinion on what I think about this game. Uh, yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Trying to get to 2,069 subs. Okay, let's start with the video. So... The first thing I want to talk about this update is just how underwhelming it was. I didn't even know that there was an update coming because I barely play this game anymore. But nonetheless, I always want to give you guys the facts and everything that's going on with this game. Now, it just dropped, uh, well, by the time you're watching this video, uh, yesterday. Um, and there's already a restock glitch happening where you can get unlimited lethal weapons. Like, you got people spamming drill charges through freaking uh, buildings. You got people spamming Semtex and frag grenades. It is insane. Supposedly, they're already fixing it on Twitter or looking to a fix on it on Twitter. But this kind of stuff wouldn't happen if they would have actually play tested the game and took their time on it. But unfortunately, a small act or a smaller indie studio like Activision um, cannot afford such uh, manpower and devs and uh, spending money to actually uh, play test the game. But anyway, that's oh my god. The, everything I'm th that is new with this update is pretty much going to piss me and probably going to piss you off too. Um, I'm going to start with some little updates and then just kind of work my way up. Um, there was a calling cards update to where not only did they finally fix the freaking calling card navigation menu. Oh my god, that thing was such a piece of junk. If you guys ever tried navigating it and figure out how to unlock certain stuff, that thing was a joke. They made it tiny, uh, tiny bit better. And now, what is it, six, seven months now after the game released, they finally added the freaking uh, nationality uh, calling cards of flags that used to be in every game from launch. But no, remember freaking when this game first launched? All they had was nothing about pride flags and freaking all these flags representing sexuality. But God forbid we put some nationality flags and care about more about people's sexual preferences in a freaking military shooter like Call of Duty. Um, there's been also uh, updates with new skins, which honestly doesn't matter to me. They added a Tim the Tatman skin and a Nick Merck, Nick Merck skin, which is kind of stupid in my opinion because they don't even fucking play this game anymore. I don't even know if Tim the Tatman plays, but I know Nick Merck definitely doesn't play. And as happy and hyped as he is, it's probably just an attempt to get more people to freaking uh, play this game and get him to start playing so he can use the fucking skin. But the game is trash. I know he plays Apex, Apex Legends now, which is probably better than this game at this point, to be honest. Um, there have been a lot of UI fixes to the user interface, which, oh my god, this thing has been a freaking joke since launch. They literally got the guy from Hulu to freaking design the freaking UI. And it is just horrible. Everything's horizontal. Nothing is vertical like it used to be. Everything takes two hours to freaking get to you literally have to take a javascript class just to be able to learn how to navigate the menu and invite a friend over um oh my god it's freaking ridiculous one of the things that i always look forward to hearing about but now i am never ever gonna take uh, infinity wards um what do you call it word for it now is the freaking movement updates so they keep talking about they're gonna make the sliding better they're gonna make everything smoother it literally makes no difference everything is still trash this is like the third time they've supposedly fixed like sliding and moving and all that but it's still ass from the beginning of the game they literally nerfed it to the ground the beta was actually decent they nerfed it to the ground and now they're slowly slowly bringing it back up to eventually probably by the time a whole year uh, happens, it's probably going to be back to where it should have been, which is like the Modern Warfare 2019 speed. It's fucking ridiculous. Um, they, did an, they did a small uh, update to mantling, which mantling, if by the way, I fucking hate mantling in this game. The way you fucking climb over shit, half the time it makes you hang on to that stupid thing and just slow everything down like this game uh, wants you to, to do. Um, they supposedly fixed mantling, so now it doesn't mantle all the time. But I don't believe shit at the, about this game. I saw some video that a uh, exclusive Ace did on the new movement updates, and everything is still the same. You won't be able to tell the difference. It's like a 5% difference in speed and stuff, which you'll barely even notice. So 
that's such a freaking joke uh they change like the time it takes like the gun to raise up after sliding or after like picking one up which is stupid because again it should have been like that in the first place there's no reason why this game should have been this slow from the beginning uh, i'm running out of breath here but um the ranked war zone uh came out which by the way it's in big letters that it's still in the beta stage it's freaking ridiculous this game has been out how long now six months and development since modern warfare 2019 for two three years and this is still a beta thing and it doesn't make sense because there's so much skill-based matchmaking that everything feels like you're playing ranked now the only thing that you get is like a stupid little badge on the side telling you where you rank which is stupid because they should have had lobby leaderboards in the first place and any something like that from the beginning like why is this now like even a thing like they didn't have ranked warzone one and everything was fine before i get that they're trying to make it better but fuck man like six months into the game and they don't fix shit holy shit and you can't even tune weapons anymore they literally added a workaround where you have to like tune your weapons from like a private match so then they can port over to a uh, freaking warzone rank and this is straight from the activision treyarch studios uh, twitter which is just embarrassing at this point if you guys do uh, go on twitter I welcome you to look at the Infinity Ward, you know, Treyarch Studios and like Call of Duty pages. And every single time they like post an update, you'll see how many people are complaining about the game. And it's not just, just that people are trying to be negative, but this game is just in such bad condition. Like it's bad enough. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys now that watch my videos probably don't even play this game as much as you used to. And it's just because the quality of games nowadays has just gotten so bad. Um, another thing that they did now is that UAVs, now when you call them in, the only person that gets to ping people is the person that called uh, the UAV. So your UAV usually does a sweep uh, as you're playing. And usually before, it would have all the players have like a UAV coming from their own uh, character. But now it's only the person that calls it. Supposedly, they did this because uh, they everyone already knows why they want to cater to newbie players and apparently people that play aggressive with uh calling uavs in before they rush uh is not good for fucking everybody because uh little timmy with two thumbs can't fucking uh kill two people when he's camping around the corner game is ridiculous uh there's also been some rico shit updates uh rico shit is the uh anti-cheat for uh call of duty that they brag so much about that they supposedly spent millions of dollars quote unquote but honestly i'm not gonna lie i feel like lately i've just been seeing so many more and more hackers lately there's so many like hacker providers and nothing ever happens they don't you know they don't what is it hardware ban people they just let them create a new account right away and then have cheats which uh, they supposedly we did a couple updates for that well we know that's not gonna work um but yeah if you guys have seen progress with the um, the ricochet or the uh, less hackers compared to Warzone 1. Um, please share share your uh, comments below. I want to hear what you guys think. Um, there's been some server fixes. One of the biggest things recently was the server fixes. Now, I had so many problems just even on multiplayer. Because I don't even play Warzone anymore. Or Resurgence either. Just because those two game modes are trash in my opinion. But even on multiplayer, I am constantly crashing out. I have really good you know direct connect internet uh with really good speed i have a really really good and expensive computer so i know it's not me everything's up to date on my end and i get so many freaking server issues like i'm always crashing i'm in the middle of the game it just like logs me out i gotta back out i have to back out um wait for everyone to finish the game so i can invite them back it, it's ridiculous and i know nothing has been fixed because i already crashed once while playing this stupid game with this stupid update um and then uh one of the last things too there has been one new map added um i'm not gonna lie that actually uh looks uh pretty decent so far um but it's still a joke that we get one map that's from the freaking single player campaign i believe um, and nothing actually new. A lot of people have been wanting the old school Modern Warfare 2 map. Seeing how this game is called Modern Warfare 2. But we haven't got any of that. So um, again, six months in and we're barely at the same map count that Vanguard came with on launch. And it's embarrassing because 
Vanguard is like a completely horrible game. And now it's funny, by the way, that people are actually saying that they miss Vanguard and that Vanguard was actually a good game. And this usually happens every year, but Vanguard was such a shit game. And it's sad to see that a game with the name of Modern Warfare 2 is now <laughs> is now being put to the side and being said that freaking uh, Vanguard is a better game. That's just how trash everything ha uh, has gone. Um, there's been a bunch of other updates with like guns and everything, but it's not really important I just wanted to cover the important stuff to me and that I felt that you guys cared about but um, Leave your opinion. Let me know what you guys think about this update Let me know um, how many shields are in my comments and how many people support me um, I really appreciate you guys watching especially if you guys have been watching up until now um, And this has been kind of a long video, but again if you've been watching until now, thank you so much And you're supporting my dream. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much and fuck Call of Duty